Can I borrow one of these for a second? Thank you. This is a 1919 Hudson Bay. These are available on my website for pre-order if you're interested in one, but what we're actually after is this guy right here. So these screws here are called Chicago screws and they look like they're brass, but in reality, they're actually aluminum like this. This is the one side and this is the screw side or the other side. We've been buying these like this. The problem is not only are they super expensive to buy, we can't get them anymore. So we are gonna try today to make those aluminum parts look like that. And apparently this stuff right here, whatever this is, can do the job. Look how good that logo looks. I just spray painted that for you so you could see that. By the way, that's how all the axes are shipping out in these wood boxes. That looks so good. Okay, right, right, acid stuff, here we go. Disclaimer before we get into this, because I know this is always the case, Never done this before, not affiliated with this company, straight up bought it from a YouTube video I saw. I don't even know what the company is called. It's called Sherfin Chemical, Los Angeles, California. Got the brush and clean, which is basically a degreaser, and then part A and part B of the brass gold patina. So I've got the degreaser set up here, a rinse pail. This is the patina. I assume it's a one-to-one -one ratio because I couldn't find anything else on their website. And they sent me two of the same bottle sizes. So we're gonna assume that. And then this is a rinse off here, which I actually need to put some water in. We're gonna run these two parts through, see if we can get them to look like that brass one right there. And if it works, we'll do all of them. All right, we're going in here. Shake it around a little bit, I don't know. Into the water, out of the water into the acid, the patina, whatever the stuff is. I can't even tell if that's, it's pink. <laughs> All right, going into the water. Let's see if this worked. Oh wow, that was a lot of purple in there. I feel like I'm wasting it with my gloves. Okay, taking it out. This was the first try, which is the one in the middle. It actually looked better in real life until I put it beside the uh, what we're trying to shoot for. But uh, I'm gonna go through it again and just try to clean it better and play with it a bit. I'm optimistic this is gonna work. But that's our first shot right there. So it looks better. This is the second one I've done, but it's still not the same. I'm gonna just try a little bit of heat on it to see if that does anything to the color. So I just got a Rice cooker here, water, and then this. And we're just gonna heat that up for a little bit and see if that has any effect on the color of these things. Heating it up helped it go fast and more even. This is gonna be an all-in-one go. So hopefully I don't screw it up. They're looking pretty cool. They look super old, which is exactly what we want. I have two regrets though. I regret that I mixed the female and the male ends or the post ends and the screw ends together because now I got to sort them. And then I was washing them off and I put a little bit of sand in there to sort of use as abrasion to clean it. So I thought, great idea, Tim. Except now they went into all the posts. So now I got to blow those out with air compressor. So. That's gonna be the rest of my day, cleaning screws. Okay, I got them separated, the two piles, and now we're gonna start working through each one. Got them all cleaned up here. Looking really good, really happy with this. They look old and weathered, which is just exactly what we want for this ax. This is actually an uh, ax that is going out to Abbotsford 
fishing game club, but I wanna just see how these screws look when I finish stacks. So I'm just gonna quickly take these screws out, or maybe we'll just do this one and just see. This is the one screw that I bought, and we're gonna be changing them now. Okay, so that's what it looks like on this side. Looks good. So this is the the older ones. Now this is the newer one. It's a little bit flatter. Not quite as much gold, but it looks it looks good. I'm I'm okay with this. This is really cool. That's sweet. There you go. Thanks for coming along on that process. Always fun to try something new. If you want uh, Hudson Bay Axe 1919, I still have a couple more available. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep the forge lit, eh? And uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't. We'll see you in the next one, over and out. Yeah. Yes?